And the head of the United Auto Workers never probably shook hands with a Republican before. They're destroying. You know, Mexico has taken over a period of 30 years 34 percent of the automobile manufacturing business in our country. Think of it. Went to Mexico. China now is building a couple of massive plants where they're going to build the cars in Mexico and think, they think, that they're going to sell those cars into the United States with no tax at the border. Let me tell you something to China. If you're listening, President Xi, and you and I are friends, but he understands the way I deal, those big monster car manufacturing plants that you're building in Mexico right now, and you think you're going to get that, you're going to not hire Americans, and you're going to sell the cars to us now, we're going to put a 100 percent tariff on every single car that comes across the line. And you're not going to be able to sell those cars. If I get elected, now, if I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath for the whole. That's going to be the least of it. It's going to be a bloodbath for the country. That'll be the least of it. But they're not going to sell those cars. They're building massive factories. A friend of mine, all he does is build car manufacturing plants. He's the biggest in the world. I mean, honestly, I joke about it. He can't walk across the street. In that way, he's like Biden. But for building a plant, he can do the greatest plants in the world, right? That's all he cares about. I said, I'd like to see one of your plants recently. I said, I'd like to see, where can we go? Well, we have to travel to Mexico. I said, why Mexico? He said, because that's where the big plants are building. China's building really big plants in Mexico, and Mexico's building. What about here? Well, we're building much smaller plants here. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? So what they're saying, Jim Jordan, is that we're going to make cars in Mexico, and they're going to do it. You're not going to stand for that, Bernie, J.D.? I have a, I have a feeling J.D. is not, JD's not big into that policy. 100 percent tariff. They won't sell any cars over here. And I'll tell them, if they want to build a plant in Michigan, in Ohio, in South Carolina, they can, using American workers. They can. They can't send Chinese workers over here, which they sometimes do. But they, if they want to do that, we're welcome, right? But they're not going to build them in Mexico, and they're not going to do that. We're going to tariff them at 100 percent, just like I've done. I saved the steel industry. The people that like me the most are the steel companies. But now I've been out for a little while. And guess what? United States Steel, 50 years, 60 years ago, maybe the greatest company in the world, was just sold to Japan. How do you like that? U.S. Steel owned and controlled by Japan. I wouldn't have allowed it to happen. Hopefully, they won't allow it to happen. When I'm